was taking a hand cut that stuff out. Hi, this is Laura. Today I'm going to do my October month and review. And I got this idea from Kyra in Journey and Beauty, and I'll link her channel down below so that you can check her out. So I'm going to start off with my empties. And I'm going to just, just a few empties today. So, um, one of the empties I haven't even got here. Hang on, I'll go and get it. So, um, I think last month I managed to use two face masks, and um, this month I managed to use one. <laughs> so, I did really badly with face masks this month. And this was actually a purchase for this month as well. So, um, it was the Garnier Skin Active Hyaluronic Shot Fresh Mix Tissue Mask. So, it came in kind of two parts. So, the mixture was in this part, and the mask was in there. It was pretty wet. It's, I don't know whether you saw that, but it's actually dripping. And, um, so you had to push, you had to push the um, liquid into the mask and then put the mask on and do what you normally do with the face mask. Um, I didn't feel like this was particularly hydrating to me. Have you used this one? Do you find it hydrating? I mean, it wasn't drying or anything, but my face didn't feel particularly hydrated afterwards. I was feeling like I was having a dry month and that's why I picked that up. But did much for me. So I wasn't that impressed with it. Um, other empty is I used my Glow Lab makeup wipes all up. Then, so these ones are biodegradable, cruelty free, recyclable. But um, yeah, I keep buying these because they don't make my eyes sting like some of the other ones I've tried. I used up my Neutrogena Deep Clean Micellar Gel to Foam. This one is for dry skin makeup remover deep cleanser. I actually really like this. I haven't repurchased it because I can't get it. Because <laughs> whenever I find a product I really like, they stop selling it in my stores. So I could probably get it online, I presume. But they're not selling it in any of the stores that I've looked in so far. It's really annoying. So I'm actually trying something different at the moment. Otherwise, I probably would have repurchased this because I actually do like it. I used... What else? I'm going to do skincare first. Oh, I used up. <laughs> this isn't skincare. This is this one of those teeth whitening pens. I'm, I'm looking at here. It's a Colgate one. So it comes with toothpaste and then you just cut this on your teeth and go about your day. And I quite like these. I think they're quite good. They're, they're not like a deep whitening, but for touch-ups between, I think they're quite good. I quite like them. Because I'm not very really good at doing the whole deep teeth whitening thing because I keep forgetting to do it. <laughs> and I used up two of my Shiseido samples that I got a few months ago. So um, this was for eyes, wrinkle resist. And this one was for a brightening gel cream. Um, the eye one is a pretty decent size sample. I would say it wasn't really a sample. It was... Um, the size of the actual product, but they threw it in as part of a free pack with something else that I'd brought. And um, I quite like this one. It didn't irritate my eyes or anything and seemed to hydrate them fine. No better than the one I normally use, because I normally use this one here, which is the Trilogy One Eye Contour Cream. So this is the one I normally use. So um, I use this one at night. It's quite thick. So if you've got like oily eyelids or something, you probably won't like this one. But I don't, I have quite dry eyelids in. So it was quite thick. I use this one at night and I use this one in the morning. And um, it was quite nice, but I'm not going to repurchase because Shiseido is hideously expensive here. And I got this free. I was quite happy to try it. But um, this one's already expensive enough. I don't, and I don't, I'm quite happy with this one. So I'm going to keep using this one and I'm quite happy to use this twice a day. Whereas this one I just wanted to use at night and then I would need something in the morning as well because this one was so thick I don't think I'd try and put makeup over it. And then the brightening gel cream, um, that's all gone. Just a free sample I got. So I was using the, um, like the lotion first, the brightening lotion which is like a toner kind of thing. And then I was putting this over the top. Um, did I notice any brightening? Uh, 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 I don't know that I did. But then 
we're just heading into spring now, so any brightening could have been that um, I just wasn't seeing much sun. <laughs> so I wouldn't repurchase that either. So two products. So thought oh, fine, I enjoyed using it, but I'm not going to repurchase. And the rest, let's have a look. What have I got? Oh, and I've got um, an empty of my Silly Hansen Mega Shine. Would I repurchase this? Yes, I would. Except I've got something else to use. And I'll show you when I show you my um, purchases for the month. But um, this one seemed to keep my nail polish on better than a lot of other ones I've tried. Nothing keeps my nail polish on really well, unless I have acrylic nails on like I have at the moment. Because um, nail polish does, doesn't like staying on my nails. So I could paint my nails and the next day I need to paint them again. And that's just annoying. <laughs> and the rest of the stuff is actually makeup. Now I'll run through... Most of it is actually Project Pan stuff. So since you may have already seen my Project Pan video, I'll just quickly run through it. So I used up the Rimmel Instapix Glow Setting Spray, which I have used more than once. I think this is my third bottle of this. I quite like this because you can put it on before or, or after. But um, I'm using the CoverGirl one now because CoverGirl is cruelty free and Rimmel is not. So. Because there's an easy access alternative, I will try out the alternative. I can't tell you yet if I like the cover that girl one or not because I've used it twice. <laughs> I finished off the Paulus Face Primer from ELF. I don't know that this does anything much for me. It doesn't do anything horrible to my makeup or my foundation or anything, but I don't know that it makes me look any Paulus, any more Paulus. So. I have I have used this I have, I have repurchased this before, but I'm still looking for something else that works better. I just haven't quite found it yet. I used up my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow and Nude Beige, so I just finished this up yesterday. So it's an empty. I um, I'm that's not a project pair one. I'm calling my L'Oreal gloss an empty because I can't get any more out, even if I store it upside down. It won't come out anymore. I'm calling my Stay Matte Rimmel Liquid Lip and Be My Baby empty. This was also in my project pan. And um, there's a little bit left in there, but it's all thickened up now and it doesn't apply very well, so I'm calling that empty. And then the rest of the stuff, I have one declutter and the rest are empties. So these are not in a project pan, but they're just empties anyway. So I use my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil and this one is, what colour are you? Medium brown. So that is all gone. There's not any more in there. I quite like this pencil or this style of pencil. The LA Girl ones are quite cheap, so they do get used up fast. But I quite like them, so I don't mind buying those. And I have started using um, the pomade more often, and eyeshadow is a help too. So I haven't been using the pencils as much, but I did use up that one. My poor little brown pencil. So this is just an eyeliner pencil. This was an LA Girl one. The tip has come out. There is no more product at the end there. So there's no point in trying to sharpen it. And I can't use it anymore. So that's an empty. And my Essence Long Lasting Black Pencil is all gone. So I used that in all my waterline and things. So that is all gone. Um, would I buy this one? Again? Um, I would buy the LA Girl brown pencil again. Um, I, I have something at the moment. I don't like it as much as this one. What am I using at the moment? I'm using the Soft Coal Rimmel one, which I got as a free sample with something, and it's not as soft as the LA Girl one. I don't like it as much. And the Essence one worked fine. I would buy that one again too, but um, I don't need to because I've got something else that I'm using, which I find is nice and soft, so I'm using the Revolution. Prior HD Smoky Liner at the moment, and that one's nice and black, and it seems to stay in my tight line quite well, and um, it's nice and soft. So, three three pencil. <laughs> and I've got one declutter, which is my L'Oreal Paris and Coral Constant. It's a double lipstick thing, so one end is the colour, and the other end is like a lip balm which I never really use, but um, 
the colour, which is really pretty. It'll be perfect for this time of year. And this lipstick has gone off, so it, it doesn't smell too bad, but it doesn't perform properly. It goes all clumpy and weird now, so that's a throw out. So there are all my empties. Then we're up to new purchases. Now, I had to make a few purchases to replace things, but I haven't been as good at not buying stuff this month because um, <laughs> this is this is my excuse. I had to take my dad to the hospital to get his the wires out of his wrist after he broke his wrist, and they were, had to put them under because they were s stuck in there. So instead of just sitting in the hospital for three, four hours waiting for him, I went shopping. <laughs> so... Uh, I had to go shopping because I had to have something to do while I was in there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I went shopping. Sorry, bank account. <laughs> so, where do I start? Okay, I'll start with face masks. So, I brought these two face masks because I was running out of face masks anyway. And um, this is a vitamin C one, the same as the hyaluronic acid one, where you have to push this stuff down into the mask. And obviously I haven't used this one yet because I was really sick of asking and I only used one. <laughs> so I will try that, but I don't have high hopes since I didn't really like the other one that well. Um, and then, so I bought that at the supermarket while I was shopping for stuff, but then when I went and took Dad to the hospital, I went to the warehouse and they had these here, which I've never seen in there before. So this is a Kiwi, as in New Zealand, made it's cruelty free. It's made in New Zealand. And this is a nourishing mask. And so there's three in there. Quite correct. Yeah, there's there's three masks in here. And these were quite cheap. And I haven't tried any of them out yet, so I can't tell you. So it's a New Zealand Kawa Kawa and flaxseed oil mask. So that's the nourishing one. And then the restoring one is a rose water and collagen sheet mask. So it has no parabens or nasty chemicals. Our hyaluronic acid is 100% non-animal derived. That's the first time I've seen that on the back of the packet. And the other one is a Soothe, so that's a Manuka honey and hyaluronic acid. So I should be right for sheet mass in November. <laughs> so um, I better make sure I actually use them. But I was intrigued because I hadn't seen by nature anywhere around me before and because it's New Zealand I wanted to try it out and um, they were a really good price. So I would say they'd got it in as like holiday packs for Christmas. So I was taking it back that. So I have lots of sheet masks to do. <laughs> I needed to replace my Aveeno baby wash and shampoo. I used this for um, cleaning my brushes and I saw Jessica Braun recommending this ages ago. She uses something else now, but um, what she uses I can't get, and it's just too expensive for me anyway. But I can get this, and it seems to work really well washing my brushes. So I just this is a repeat purchase. I keep just buying that. And the other thing that I bought, which were replaced, so I got a Atri New Regenerating Facial Serum from Glow Lab. So a collagen boosting serum for firmer, smoother complexion, 38% reduction in fine lines, boosts collagen, reduces wrinkles, firms and tones, and improves elasticity. I can't never say that word. You know what I mean. <laughs> and um, I've only just started using this, so I can't tell you what it is. This is just the box because the actual stuff is in the bathroom. So I can't tell you how much I like this because I don't know yet. I was looking for some cheaper alternatives to some of the products that I had run out of. So far, I think I like the more expensive products, but I will carry on using this and then tell you what I think when I get to an empty. And same with the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Anti-Aging Moisturizer for Night. It says, visible, visible results in just one week. I've been using it for a week. I can't. I don't think any of my wrinkles are any smaller. <laughs> but I, again, I was looking, it's got retinol in it, and I was looking for some alternative things that were cheaper for 
my skin than what I was currently using because we need to finish our kitchen, which is when we have to. <laughs> and um, so, so far, they're fine. But I like the other stuff better. But I will carry on using it because I've only been using both of them for about a week and see what I think. And I did a repurchase of my Glow Lab facial wipes because although I already have some, I had five teenage girls around here using my makeup and playing with stuff and there's hardly any of these ones left now so I bought a replacement. What else did I buy that was a replacement? Hairspray was a replacement and I haven't used this one before. It was the John Frieda Fizz Easy Moisture Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray. So I don't use hairspray that often because as you see I don't hardly ever do my hair. <laughs> but, um, I needed some hairspray because I had run out. So when I do do my hair, I'd like to have some hairspray. The other thing that I bought was a, was a nail polish collector pen, which I have used a few times. And you fill it up with nail polish. So you, you fill it yourself. And then you can just, and it's dirty because I've used it. And then you can just go around the edges of your nails and tidy up if you've gone over the edges. And it has, oops, <laughs> they're all falling out. It has new tips in them too. So when the tip gets too lucky you can change the tip and put a new tip in it and I thought that was quite a good idea so that wasn't very much and I've already used it and enjoyed it but um you do have to be careful because sometimes too much nail polish remover comes out so you have to use it with a careful hand and was there anything oh no this was a replacement so I said oh, oh. So I used up the Sally Hansen Mega Shine top coat, which I like, but I didn't buy the same one I bought, the Diamond Shine base top coat, because it says Diamond Strength on it, whereas this one doesn't, and I thought this one might be even better than this one. I don't know yet. I'll have to try it out. But if it doesn't work as well as this one, then I'll just go back to this one. But that was my replacement. Another replacement... Although I don't need it right now because I don't go to the shop, shopping centre where they have the body shop very often. So when I do go, if I need anything, this is basically a backup and I don't buy backups. But in this case I do because I really like the, the body shop face mist and I use it every time I do my makeup. I'll put it on before I put my foundation on and it's really good and hydrating. But they had a new scent. They had the strawberry smoothing one. Hydrate smooth and make it friendly. So when I've finished this one, I'll move on to this one. So that'll go in my back drawer. And then we get to the stuff that I didn't need, but I just bought anyway. So I'm doing a makeup swap with a friend on YouTube, and I was looking for some stuff for her, and um, I ended up buying some stuff for me as well. And as I said, because Christmas is coming, everyone's got new stuff coming in which we don't normally see so i ended up buying the essence into the snow glow palette and i've never tried any essence eyeshadow so i haven't used this yet as you can see because it's still got plastic on it you see my ring light and i wanted to try it out so i got that one and i also when i was i went to oh and i also got um some little little ones some little ones from Essence because, as I said, I've never tried anything from Essence in an eyeshadow formula before because um, they don't usually have much of it. I got the Melted Chrome eyeshadow and this one is Zinc About You. So that's what that one looks like. But these were really nice, not bad. But it's, um, it's quite subtle, so whether you'll be able to see it, the ring light, I don't know, but it's nice and shiny. And it was pretty. It appealed to me at that particular time. And I got the Halo Powder okay, in Mint Muse. It's basically white with a little bit of a green shift. 
So I thought that would be nice for in a corner or um, highlight. I haven't had a chance to use them yet. And the other halo powder I got was Hollow Kiss. So this is the same kind of thing as that one. It's a light base, but this one has a purple shift. So whether you'll be able to see it, I don't know. I'll stick it on my finger. Yeah, you might be able to see it on my finger. But it's definitely got a purple shift. So white base with a purple shift. So I was thinking know whether you'll be able to see that or not. I was thinking in a corner highlight. So it's on <laughs> this finger. <laughs> it's on this finger. So I thought it looked pretty anyway. So we got that one. And one more eyeshadow. This one is just an eyeshadow. It's not one of the halo ones. And this one is in cotton candy. And another pale one. I don't, it must have been in a pale wound. I don't know why. So this one is basically a white one with a pink shift. I'm trying to find a finger that doesn't have stuff all over it. I don't think you'll see that on camera. <laughs> it's quite... On my finger it's not subtle, but on my wrist it's quite subtle. So it's there. But I was thinking highlighter in the corner again. <laughs> so those were my essence buyers from the warehouse. And then I went to Farmers and they had a profusion palette. So I'm busy trying to pan a profusion palette and I buy one that's even bigger than the one. <laughs> but, um, I've seen reviews on this, some of them have been a bit mixed. I'll open it up. I've used one colour which I actually used today. So, I've used that yellow. Today, and I was only using it on the very middle of the flowers that I was doing. So, um, I haven't swatched or used this really. And I had, I've seen some mixed reviews. I've seen some people saying, oh, it's not very really pigment, and others, say, others people saying it's really good. And um, they really like the formula. And I like, can you see that? Is it the same? Is is it the same as it? Probably. It might be a bit pinker. <laughs> but I I like um, the profusion that I've had. I'm just forgetting about talking and swatching now. <laughs> so, so I thought I'd give it a go. I know the ones that had the like square hands have have been really good they didn't have any of those all the other confusion stuff they had there was all very neutral so that was the only one that had any color in it so i thought i'd buy it and try it out and they got um some new i heart revolution sticks which i cannot resist and so i got the pineapple highlighter i think it was the strawberry one i wanted but they didn't have that when i was out shopping um i noticed the other day when i went in they had it but i, I didn't buy it so it was very good I haven't actually opened this at all. Still got the sticker on it. It's got lots of stickers on it. <laughs> so, you would have seen this as well because um, I don't get anything when it's actually first come out. It's very sparkly because of where I live. So I kind of mixed them together. So there it is there, if you can see it. I don't know how well you'll see that. So I thought I'd give that a go, because I quite like a gold highlighter. Sometimes I'm looking for a really yellowy gold. I've got, um, I've got the Master Chrome one in molten gold, but it's a lot darker gold. It's not a yellowy gold at all. And I've got the Igirl Strobe Light, which is a real yellowy one. So this one was kind of in between. <laughs> when I wanted gold, 
but I wanted more yellowy gold, but I didn't want yellow. That was my very end one. And the exciting thing for me was that they had the Tasty Avocado palette. So I am actually wearing that today on my eyes. And so this is what it looks like. And Nikki Raven kept raving <laughs> about it. So I was on the fence about it, but then when I saw it, it was like, oh, I can, I can buy that in store. They had the pizza one, and they had that one. They didn't have the red chili one. So I grabbed it. And um, it's okay. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> Other ones I haven't used yet, so I can't tell you whether I like them or not. <laughs> so I will keep you updated on, on that. So that's that's all that I bought, which was quite enough, considering how many eyeshadow palettes I have. I don't really need any more, but do any of us need any more? There's a difference between needing something and wanting something. <laughs> so favourites this month. My favourites this month for October has actually been doing Halloween looks, because I have never done Halloween looks before, because we don't do Halloween, but because I'm doing YouTube. I decided to do some Halloween looks and I had a couple of collabs where we were doing Halloween kind of stuff. I think I actually had three collabs where I was doing Halloween stuff. So I got to play dress up with my makeup and I had a blast. I really enjoyed doing it. So that was, that was a favourite for October for me. It was something different, very creative and I just got to play and it didn't matter if it didn't turn out amazing because I'd never done it before. So it takes the pressure off when you when you don't have to be an expert at something, you can just enjoy it. <laughs> and that's what I did. I, I really enjoyed it. And so that was my favourite thing to do this month. And the other favourite thing to do this month was um, building my own palettes and duping palettes. And I think I mentioned that last month as well. But I'm still really enjoying doing that, so I'm still doing that. Um, was there anything else? That I wanted to say. I don't think so. I think that's all I wanted to put in for this month. And so thanks for watching and I hope October was a good month when you reflect back on it for you. Tell me what your favourite thing in October was this month. It's always good to reflect back on the good things that happen because sometimes we linger on the bad stuff too much and we need to remember that somewhere there will be good stuff. It's not all bad. <laughs> And, or, or maybe a lot of it was good. And we do tend to think about the mean things people say, not the good things people say, and things that have gone wrong rather than the things that have gone right. So yeah, tell me what's gone well for you this month. And now I have to go because I can hear my dad at the door. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.